Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Ang pag-usapan natin ngayon ay tungkol sa Special Theory of Relativity. Ang Special Theory of Relativity ay nilikha at ginoon ni Albert Einstein noong 1905 bilang isang tugon sa matagal ng pinagtatalunan na hidwaan sa pagitan ng Theory of Electromagnetism ni James Clerk Maxwell at ng Three Laws of Motion ni Isaac Newton. According to Maxwell, light in a vacuum moves at 186,000 miles per second at hindi ito nagbabago para sa lahat ng nagmamasid at sitwasyon. On the other hand, ayon sa Newtonian physics, lahat ng speed ay relative. Nangangahulugang ang bilis ay nakasalalay sa mga observers, viewpoint at situation. Noong 1905, inilathala ni Albert Einstein ang kanyang obserbasyon tungkol sa magkaibang idea ng dalawang theory sa pamamagitan ng Special Theory of Relativity. Binigyang diin niya na habang ang Newtonian physics ay totoo, ang teorya ni Maxwell ay totoo din. Nalutas niya ang mga magkasalungat na idea sa pamamagitan ng pagtataguyod ng dalawang pundasyon ng Special Theory of Relativity. Ang unang principle sa theory ni Einstein ay ang consistent law principle. It states that all motions are relative to the selected reference or viewpoint. Ito ay nangangahulugang ang paggalaw ng isang bagay ay batay sa pananaw ng mga tagamasid o observer's viewpoint. Halimbawa, kung ang isang tao ay nasa loob ng isang tren na pantay na dumadaan sa dalawang puno. Dahil gumagalaw ang tren, nakita niya na may kidlat na tumama sa puno sa kaliwa niya muna, pagkatapos ang puno sa kanan. Isa pang tao ang nasa platform, nakita rin ang parehong kaganapan. Tanging sa kanyang pananaw, ang kidlat ay parehong tumama sa mga puno ng sabay. Ngunit dapat din natin na maintindihan na hanggat ang object ay moving in a straight line, at a constant speed, the laws of physics are the same for everyone. Halimbawa, kung ikaw ay nasa tren at tumingin ka sa bintana at nakita mo ang isa pang tren na gumagalaw din, pero alin ba talaga ang gumagalaw? Ang tren ba o ikaw? Mahirap sabihin which is which. Na-recognize ni Einstein na if the motion is perfectly uniform, it's literally impossible to tell. So, dapat uh, nating tandaan that the laws of physics are the same in all frames of reference that are moving at a constant velocity with respect to one another. Ang pangalawang principle sa theory ni Einstein ay tumutukoy sa speed of light. Ito ay ang constancy of speed. Itinatag niya na ang light ay gumagalaw sa bilis na 186,000 miles per second And it's the same for all observers' viewpoint. Nangangahulugan lamang na pareho sa pananaw ng lahat ng mga nagmamasid ang speed of light. Halimbawa, ang isang astronaut na nasa spaceship ay gumagalaw patungo sa source of light ay mag-iisip na ang light ay gumagalaw sa bilis na 186,000 miles per second. Um, sa makatawid, um, kung may isa pang astronaut na hindi gumagalaw patungo sa source of light, ay dapat mag-isip din na ang light ay gumagalaw sa parehong bilis na 186,000 miles per second. In short, regardless of the rate of movement of the source of light and the rate of movement of the astronauts, the speed of light will remain the same. No matter how fast an observer is moving or how fast a light-emitting object is moving, The measurement of light or the speed of light always yields the same result. Sagutan naman natin ang isa sa mga selected learning test na what's more. In the story Happy Birthday Greeting, Marisa sent a birthday greeting e-card to Anna in through Facebook. Describe in what part of the story was the special theory of relativity is demonstrated. Here is the story. Anna and Marisa are best friends since childhood. 
They were classmates from kinder until grade 8 when Anna's family needed to migrate to Alofi, Niue, a small island country in the Pacific. Anna's parents are both medical missionary doctors. Marisa, on the other hand, remained in the Philippines where her parents are both university professors. Even though they were miles apart, the two girls kept in contact through Facebook. A year after Anna migrated, her birthday is coming up and Marisa wanted to greet her a happy birthday. Marisa created an electronic happy birthday greeting card and sent it to Anna at exactly 12 a.m. of July 30, Anna's birthday. She was so happy because she was the first to greet Anna on her birthday. Anna replied thank you to Marisa even though Anna thought it was an advanced greeting since it's July 29 in New Way. Anna's reply was, Thank you Marisa for your very early greeting. My birthday is tomorrow. However, I am so glad that you remembered it. Thank you so much. Marisa was confused with Anna's reply. It's already July 30 so why does Anna say her birthday is tomorrow? She thought. And because she was so confused, she went to her mother and asked. Her mother told her that there's a 19-hour difference between Anna's place and theirs. Marisa then asked why time is delayed in Anna's place. So her mother explained to her that it, was, it has something to do relatively with the geographic location and the time zone of the country where Anna is and that no matter what happens, July 30 is still Anna's birthday. So what part of the story was the special theory of relativity is demonstrated? So sa story, um, nagpadala si Marisa ng birthday card kay Ana. Kina Marisa, July 30 na, pero kina Ana ay July 29 pa din. Ito ay events na naganap sa dalawang magkaibang lugar. Hindi natin masasabi kung alin sa dalawang events ang naunang nangyari o sabay ba silang naganap. Number 2. Teacher A and B are scheduled to have a class at 2 p.m. until 3.30 p.m. in the afternoon. Both came to class on time. However, according to the guard on duty, Teacher A finished the class at 3.25 p.m. while Teacher B finished at 3.35 p.m. However, both teachers claim that they both finished the class on time. Explain how the special theory of relativity is involved in this situation. Sa so number 2 naman ay maaring ang mga teachers pati na din ang guard ay mayroong um, mga sariling time reading uh, sa kanilang mga relo. Ang reference na ginamit ko sa video na ito ay ang Pivot Learning Material, ang Physical Science Module para sa si Grade 11.